So you had a partner at this time, uh, Jason. Um, can you talk a little bit about how, you, how do you choose a partner when you're a young entrepreneur and what, what were the strengths and weaknesses that you both brought to the uh, partnership? Jason at first was my competitor. When I was in high school, I, um, you know, I had one competitor, it was Jason. He, he and I had very different crowds. And some of the people that would go to the, the events I ran would also go to the events he ran. And I would hear his name. We would often run into each other at the printer where we would both make our flyers. And uh, I would always peek to see what he was doing and he would do the same. So I approached him when we were seniors in high school about teaming up and doing a, a party together. It's sort of the early days of you know partnering, partnering with your competitor to try and eliminate competition. Right. Um, it didn't work. Um, we still had competition because other people that worked for us decided that they were going to go out on their own. But Jay and I developed a really early friendship. When we were freshmen in college, we did a big party back in New York and it got shut down. It got shut down at 11.50 on New Year's Eve after we sold tickets to all of our friends from college. Uh, they had all come, come into New York City for the night. They had prepaid for these tickets expecting to go to a place to spend New Year's at 11.50. It got closed down. The owner that we had done a deal with had sort of duped us and misrepresented what the uh, venue was able to do. And it was a disaster. We were standing on the street with all of our new, new and close friends uh, upset that we ruined their New Year's. And, you know, the next day we woke up and we got on the phone and we decided, you know, rather than, you know, because at the time we weren't friends, and we were still competitors, but we decided, let's not blame each other. Let's just give everyone their money back. And that was tough because at, the, at sure. the time we had, you know, it was significant for us, yeah. but we gave everybody their money back and we stuck together. And that was really the foundation for our partner, which our partnership, which, you know, almost 30 years later is still going really strong. So right. finding a good partner is tough. I got lucky. I think I found. I found it on the first shot. Mm -hmm. We've had many other partners since then. Not always great, um, but you know, I think the fundamentals that we learned at that early age um, are, are what kept us together all these years. And is there something that he has more of uh, than you and vice versa? You know, we're very different, and I think that's part of what makes it work. We're, we're real yings and yangs. You know, I, uh, I have a different type of attention to detail than he does. Um, Personality-wise, we're very different, um, and I think generally the reason that we don't really ever disagree or, or fight is that we just both have a, 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 um, a mutual respect. You know, he knows that when I say something that I mean it, and I know when he says something he means it. I, he always trusts my intentions. I always trust his, and because of that, it, it, you know, it's just. It, it gave us a foundation that, that as a partner, you know, it's hard to find, but when you find it, it's, it's, the, it's the winning formula. Right. 